Uh, Jeff, Diego, um, just shooting this video to talk about how to make decisions as a follower of Jesus Christ. A lot of times people come up and they say, Jeff, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I find that the problem with that is that um, they're asking the wrong questions when they're trying to go through their decision-making process. They're asking, can I do this? Can I do that? Um, but the questions that they really should be asking are the following three. Uh, the first question that they should ask is, um, is it a sin? Uh, because sin, it separates us from God. It's the reason why Jesus came and died a horrible, violent death on the cross because of sin. So if it is a sin, then Christians should not be doing it. Um, inevitably, we will sin, but when you're asking, hey, should I go and get drunk with my friends on Saturday night? The answer is going to be no, 99.99999% of the time. In fact, 100% of the time because that's a sin and Christians should constantly be repenting of their sins. Um, and sin in the end leads to death. The second question that we should ask is, does this get me closer to Jesus? Uh, the writer of Hebrews says, uh, in chapter 12, he says, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which so easily clings closely and let us run with endurance the race that was set before us looking to Jesus the founder and perfecter of our faith for the joy set before him endured the cross pretty much what he's saying is that when you're pursuing Jesus when you're living your life for Jesus sin is going to impede you it's gonna slow you down when you're following Jesus but there are also non sinful things that can uh, that that can retard your faith. That can um, stunt your growth in um, in the gospel. Your stunt your growth in pursuing uh, Jesus. There are a lot of non sinful things that I can't do that I avoid because they rob me of my affection for Christ. Like I love sitcom comedies. I love The Office. I love Parks and Recreation. But, but if I spend five hours a day watching those things, um, I find myself laughing at the things that God hates. I find myself, um, you know, thinking it's cute. Oh, people are, you know, having sex and, oh, they're doing drugs or they're drunk or they're cussing. Um, and I, my affections start getting uh, bent towards those things rather than the things of, um, of God. And the third question that should be asked is, um, does this help me get closer to Christians and non-Christians? Does it help build up the body of Christ? And does it help you be a better missionary to your friends, to your co-workers, to your classmates, um, to family members? Because as Christians, it's our job to share the gospel with people who don't know Christ. Um, and we can use certain things like Xbox or jogging or working out or the type of food that you like or um, or music to connect with people, um, to do life with people. And so if it, something doesn't cause you to sin, if it gets you closer to Jesus, and it um, helps you connect with other people, then uh, you, should, you should do that thing. You shouldn't view the world and, oh, should I do this or should I not do that? But does it get you closer to Jesus? Does it cause you to sin? And does it help you connect with Christians and non-Christians? Love you guys. Bye.